Well, question lovers, I'm ready to interview an amazing girl. Can you guess who? There she is. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Let me help. I'm fine. You just startled me. Gracias. You're welcome. And you're just a girl I've come to see. Oh, yes. You're with American Girl. That's right. And I'm about to ask you 23 questions. Are you ready? See, si, I am. First. Can you tell me your name? Maria Josefina Montoya, but I go by Josefina. Maria was my mama's name. Can you tell me about your mom? Mama passed away two years ago. I miss her very much. It's been very hard, but I try to keep special things around me that remind me of her, like this flower garden. This is such a pretty garden. Do you have a favorite flower? Mm-hmm. Primroses, like my mama. And can you tell me about this place? This is my family's rancho, New Mexico. This land used to be a colony of Spain, but now we're part of Mexico. Whoa, give me a sec. Wow, New Mexico didn't become a state until 1912, which reminds me, what year is this? 1824. And speaking of dates, when is your birthday? March 19th, 1812. Was that a goat? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> That was sombrita. Sombrita? So cute! What does sombrita mean? It means a little shadow. Well, the way she was under my feet is just like a shadow. Exactly. Do you have any more goats? Yes, we raise them. I used to be scared of the goats. They're so loud. And Sombrita's mother, Florcita, hey, she was the worst of all of them. What made her the worst? Well, the night of the fandango. Ooh, what happened the night of the fandango? Wait, what's a fandango? A fandango is a dance with live music. Ah, got it. Okay, what happened the night of the fandango? Florcita broke loose. She was running everywhere, making a mess and destroying things. She even ate the special bouquet of flowers I had for that night. <laughs> Sombrita. <laughs> Back to the questions. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have three sisters. What are their names? Anna, Francisca, and Clara. Older or younger? All older. So you're the youngest? Yes, my sister Anna's 20, Francisca is 15, and Clara is 12. It's nice to have big sisters around, but it can sometimes be hard to. What do you mean? Well, sometimes I feel like they push me a lot to be braver and stronger. I want to be, but I don't always feel brave. Can you remember the last time you felt brave? <laughs> it was the night of the Fandango. The night Floracita went on our goat rampage? The very same. I was the one who stood up to her and locked her back up. Wow, you conquered your fear. I did. My Tia Dolores has been helping me feel confident too. Tia Dolores? What does Tia mean? Tia means aunt. Tia Dolores is mama's sister. Gotcha. And how is she helping your confidence? She's helping me learn to read and write. That's great. What do you like to read and write about? I'm collecting Mama's songs and sayings in a little book I've made. This way, I'll never forget her. Wait, 20, 21, 22. Whoa, we're already on the last question. Really? So fast. All right, if you could tell all the girls in the world one thing, what would it be? You're always given second chances. We just have to be brave enough to take them. That's it for today. I hope you loved getting to know Josefina as much as I did. Whoa! Sombrita! Oh no. Somebody stop that goat! Until next time. Wait for me! What's up everyone? I'm at a totally trivial and mall arcade to meet someone special for our next interview. Let's kick it. There she is. Almost got it. Hi there. I'm the host of 23 Questions with the American Girl. The interview, Red. So everyone is super curious about you, but let's start with the basics. What's your name? Courtney Moore. And where are we right now? Smiley's Arcade at Orange Valley Mall. My favorite spot. This place is awesome. And where is Orange Valley exactly? In California. And what year is it? 1986. The 80s. And what's your birthday? February 12, 1976. 
Tell me about your family. Do you have any siblings? Mm -hmm. Two, my little brother Rafi and my older stepsister Tina. We share a room. What's it like sharing a room with Tina? Mm, that depends. Are we talking about angry Tina or fun Tina? What do you mean? Sometimes she's in a fun mood and we dance and sing at the top of our lungs. Other times she seems angry that I even exist and we don't get along at all. Sounds like sharing a room isn't always easy. That's true. It's been even harder since my dad moved away. I used to live with him on the weekends and Tina had the room to herself. But now I only go to my dad's one weekend a month. That must make it stressful. Yep, and having parsley in the room doesn't help. Wait, parsley the herb? Shouldn't that be in the kitchen? <laughs> Parsley is the name of my guinea pig. Oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> so, outside of family, who do you hang out with? Do you have any best friends? Two of the best. My friends Kip and Sarah are always there for me, even when Justin tries to get me down. Justin? He's this kid in our class who likes to show off and pick on me. Sometimes, I imagine I'm a space explorer, and he's an evil alien. That actually sounds like a pretty cool adventure. Thanks. I'm working on making my ideas into a video game right now. Wait, like your own video game? That is awesome. Yeah, my teacher challenged us to describe our big dream. Creating a video game superhero is mine. I call her Crystal Starshooter. Crystal Starshooter? Sounds epic. What does she do? She explores space and works with aliens to find ways to help Earth. Wow! How does she help? Well, did you know there's a hole in the ozone layer? The what layer? The ozone layer. It protects the Earth from harmful rays. But there's a giant hole in it. Crystal Starshooter wants to fix it. That's incredible, Courtney. Thanks, but it's just a game. But there are real heroes working on it, like my mom. What is your mom doing for the Earth? She's getting the word out about recycling, so we start taking better care of the planet. But that's not all. Don't leave me hanging. What else is she doing? She's running for mayor. That way, she'll be able to really get the word out. Cool. Is it fun having a mom who's running for mayor? Sometimes. It can also be frustrating. Why is that? Because I think she would be an amazing mayor, but people seem to think that because she's a woman, she isn't right for the job. That doesn't make sense. I don't like that at all. Exactly. It sounds like she really inspires you. Do you have any other heroes you admire? I really admire the real space explorers. Astronauts! Like the crew of the Challenger shuttle. Do you know about the Challenger crash? I don't. What happened? The shuttle had a malfunction after takeoff and basically disappeared. It was really hard to see. You saw it happen? People all over the world watched the explosion. It was on live television. We had been looking forward to it at school for a long time. That must have been so hard. It was. And scary, too. I didn't really know how I felt. But now I feel it's even more important to keep dreaming big, to honor them. That's a great way to look at things. Do you have any other advice for our viewers? Don't let anyone tell you something isn't possible. You might be the one that makes it happen. Great advice. Are you ready for your final question? It better be a rad one. Can you show me how to play this game? Totally! Thanks for getting to know Courtney with me. Until next time. Ready? Okay. Ready. Hit start. Okay. Just be sure to stay away from the... Ghosts. <laughs> That's okay. Let's try again. Oh, stay away from the ghosts. <laughs> we might be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to another fun, educational, fun educational 23 questions with American Girl. Yay! Today I've traveled all the way back to 1764, and I've got the questions, but who's got the answers? Let's go find her. Not here, or here. There she is! Hi! Hello! Are you the one I was told to expect? The one with the 23 questions for me? That's me! It's so great meeting you! Are you ready to start? I am! Perfect! Let's start with the basics. What's your name? Kaya Atonmai. Wow, that's really pretty. What does it mean? It means she who arranges rocks. Oh, is that an important job in your tribe? Yes! Only women elders can arrange the stones for our sacred lodges. My mother wanted me to grow up to be as respected as they are. Do you have any nicknames? 
Well, most people just call me Kaya, but some people <sighs> call me Magpie. Magpie? Why do they call you that? They say magpie birds only think of themselves. Some people think that I am like that, selfish, but I am not. I just rush into things before thinking sometimes. Oh, girl, I do that too. If you're a magpie, then so am I. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. And this place is beautiful. Where are we exactly? We are in the beautiful Wallawa Valley. My tribe travels through the seasons, but Wallawa Valley is our home. That's in the state we call Idaho today. Who is your tribe? My tribe is the Nimi Poo. Nimi Poo. Today the tribe is also known as the Nez Perce. What does your original name, Nimi Poo, mean? It means the people. I like that. Speaking of people, who are the most important people in your life? Oh, there are so many! My father Tota, my mother Itza, my older sister Brown Deer, my twin brothers Wingfeather and Sparrow, and my sister Speaking Rain are my closest family, but we live with many. Wow, big family! Hey, so between us, who are you closest to? Hmm, that would have to be my sister Speaking Rain. She came to live with my family after her parents died. She's blind, so I try to be her eyes, but a lot of the times she ends up looking out for me instead. She is my best friend. That's awesome! So, take me through what a day is like for you. What do you like to do? In the morning, we bathe in the stream. No matter how cold it is outside, then we run to warm up and keep us strong. But every day is different. We might weave baskets, gather roots and other food for winter, or sew beautiful quills and shells onto our dresses. In the evening, our elders tell us stories. I love that. Oh, and I love riding my beautiful horse. You have a horse? I do! She's right over there. Would you like to meet her? Hmm, yes please. Whoa, she's beautiful. And she has a baby too? What are their names? The mother is steps high and the foal is sparks flying. You get along so well with animals. It sounds like a really great life. It is. We always have animals near us. From the time we were born, my cradle board was hung from the saddle of my mother's horse when I was a baby. When the horse walked, the cradle board swayed and lulled me right to sleep. When I was old enough to walk, we traveled with the pack dogs in front of me and behind me to keep me safe. Wow, I wish I grew up so close to animals. Do you ever feel like you can understand them? My elders tell stories about honoring and respecting all creatures. We believe that long ago, animals talked just as humans do. The only reason animals no longer talk is that humans stopped listening to them. Still, I think I can understand what Steps High and Totlo have to say to me most of the time. I kind of feel that way about my pets too. What's the most exciting adventure you've ever had with animals? Mm, that would have to be the time Steps High, her foal, and I escaped a wildfire. That fire growled like a bear as it chased us. Our eyes stung and our throats burned with every breath. It was all I could do to cling to steps high as we tried to find our way out. The smoke cleared just for a second and we saw it. A narrow passage out of the valley. We barely escaped with our lives. My heart is beating so fast just listening to that story. I'm so glad you and your horses are safe now. Me too. We are all very thankful. What about celebrations? What are they like for your tribe? I love celebrations with the tribe. The men get out their drums and the air is filled with the sounds of music, singing, and laughter. Sounds like a party. Do you get dressed up and wear something special? I don't. I'm not old enough to dance yet, but my older sister Brown Deer does. I love to dance. Please tell me more about this tradition. Brown Deer gets to wear a dress she decorated herself with colorful porcupine quills and shiny shells. One of the boys she dances with may become her husband one day. And the greatest part is that these courtship dances happen almost every night. It sounds like living out here can be pretty fun. Does it ever get scary? It can be dangerous. Like the wildfires? What other dangers are there? One time, Speaking Rain got swept away by a river and Steps High and I had to ride into the river to save her. Wow, that does sound scary. You're a hero. I do not know if I am a hero, but I do hope to be one someday, just like my hero, Swan Circling. Swan Circling? Who's that? She is a warrior in my tribe. She is brave and always willing to help others. The way you describe her, she sounds amazing. 
Speaking of, for our last question, how would you describe yourself? Hmm, I would say I am adventurous, animal loving, and daring, but with a generous spirit. I love that. Thank you so much for your time, Kaya. You are welcome. And thank you for tuning in. Now I'm going to go pet this ridiculously cute horse. Until next time, question lovers. <laughs> hey, are you watching me? Because that's exactly what I want you to do. I'm your host, and this is another 23 Questions with American Girl. I was still to wait here until she... Here I am. Sorry I'm late. I had to feed my neighbor's cats. Are you from 23 Questions? I sure am. Are you ready to get started? <laughs> is that the first question? <laughs> no. First question starts right now. Let's start with an easy one. What's your name? Rebecca Rubin. Does anyone ever call you R&R? &R? Cause I would. Um, no, but they do sometimes call me Becky. Becky, I like that too. So Becky, why don't you tell our viewers where we are? Why, only the greatest city in the world, New York City. And what year is it? Um, shouldn't you know what year it is? I'm gonna guess it's before the 2000s for sure. The 2000s? How futuristic. Well, today we're in the year 1915. And when were you born? April 4th, 1905. So, you're an Aries. A whatsies? Okay, 1905. So that makes you... 10. Exactly what I was going to say. So, aw, who are these little balls of fluffy cuteness? They're the kittens I mentioned earlier. They're Mr. Rossi's. I'm taking care of them while he's away. Ugh, jealous! Are you and Mr. Rossi close? He's the janitor at our apartment building, so my siblings and I see him around quite a bit. Oh, how many siblings do you have? Well, there's my two older sisters, Sadie and Sophie. They're twins. Then there's my older brother, Victor, and my younger brother, Benny. Wow, what's it like having older twin sisters? It can be annoying when they try to boss me around, but I do get two sets of hand-me-downs. Like I always say, the only thing better than one free dress is two free dresses. And by always say that, I mean just now for the first time. But enough about me. I have so many more questions like, what do you do for fun? Well, I love to crochet, and I like helping out at my dad's shoe store, and I really like school and learning. Ooh, what's your favorite subject? Math. My grandpa says I'm a math wizard, but I also love reading. What's your favorite book? It's called Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Rebecca? Just like you. <laughs> yes, only this Rebecca lives on a farm with her two aunts and has adventures. Sounds cool. You know what I love about school? Getting to see my best friend. Do you have a best friend? I'd say Rose Krensky is probably my best friend at school. Shout out to Rose Krensky. What's a shout out? Trust me, there'll be a thing in the future. So, love school. Do you want to be a teacher one day? <sighs> That's what my parents want me to be. What do you want to be? An actor, like my cousin. So cool. Who's your cousin? Moisha Sherashevsky. I mean, Max Shepard. He changed his name when he became a movie actor. He's moving to Hollywood with a big movie company. That's really cool. Wish my parents thought so. Why don't they? because they think acting is not a respectable life for a young lady. And after everything my parents and grandparents went through to get here and make a good life. Get here? To New York? To America. My mom and grandparents came from Russia. Things were getting bad there, so they came here. Wow, how great that they came to America. Is your Russian heritage a big part of your life? Mmm, sort of. Really, my Jewish heritage is the most important thing in my family, both to me and my parents. Is that so? Yo. Huh? Sorry. Yo is Yiddish for yes. Right. Of course. Yep. Um, quick question. What is Yiddish? Yiddish is the language of Jewish people from Europe. And you speak it fluently? I do. My whole family does. What does being Jewish mean to you? It means having compassion for others and always trying to do the right thing. I especially love Sabbath dinner when the whole family comes together. Okay, well, one last question so you can get ready for dinner. How would you describe yourself? Mm, I'd say I'm confident, entertaining, dramatic, and unconventional. Speaking of, I have a question for you. Wait, I'm supposed to be the one asking the question. 
Am I dressed okay? I wore this to ask questions. Is it a good answering outfit too? Here's the question. Since it's Friday night, would you like to stay for Sabbath dinner with my family? Hmm, I'd love to. Until next time, my curious companions.